vasopressin, also known by the trade name pitrecin. Vasopressin is indicated for the management of diabetes insipidus and for the treatment of ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation unresponsive to initial shocks, and for GI hemorrhage. Vasopressin works by increasing water permeability of the kidney's collecting duct and distal convoluted tubule, leading to water retention, and also increases peripheral vascular resistance, leading to increased blood pressure. The therapeutic classification of vasopressin is a hormone, and the pharmacologic class is an antidiuretic hormone. Special considerations for nursing include using caution in those with heart failure and cardiovascular disease, and a contraindication in those with renal failure or with a hypersensitivity to pork products. BP, heart rate, and EKG should all be closely monitored while on vasopressin therapy, and urine-specific gravity and osmolality are also important things to monitor. Patients should be weighed frequently and assessed for edema, especially if on prolonged courses of vasopressin, and electrolyte panels should also be checked. Vasopressin should not be used in combination with alcohol. And it is important to note that the elderly patients have increased responsiveness to the effects of vasopressin on water homeostasis. If extravasation of vasopressin occurs, it can lead to severe vasoconstriction of local tissue, leading to necrosis and gangrene. Therefore, if any sign of extravasation occurs, the infusion should be stopped immediately and a new IV site started. Visit nrsng.com 50 meds for our free cheat sheet covering the 50 meds every nurse must know. That's nrsng.com 50 meds. This has been another MedMaster podcast by nrsng.com with your host, licensed pharmacist Cody Magnuson, BSC, PharmD candidate. Now, from all of us at NRSNG, thanks for being here and happy nursing.